Good evening. Join me. This is Drug and Report Derek News. Promise life. Drug and Report Derek News. Love and hope and trust and confidence. Tonight, there's something special to talk about. So, won't you join us? Hello, this is Peter Sharoshi and you are watching Drug Reporter News. Join us to learn about developments in drug policy reform around the world. Two new U.S. states legalized cannabis. Maryland and Missouri joined 19 other states and the District of Columbia in legalizing recreational marijuana, while legalization proposals did not pass in Arkansas, North Dakota and South Dakota. Following the passage of Maryland's Question 4, adults in the state will be allowed to possess up to 1.5 ounces or two marijuana plants, beginning July 1, 2023. Missouri voters approved the state's Amendment 3, which removes existing prohibitions on marijuana and allows adults to purchase and possess up to three ounces and grow up to six flowering plants at home. Meanwhile, at the federal level, the Oversight Subcommittee on Civil Rights and Civil Liberties of the House of Representatives held a hearing on federal and state marijuana reform on November 15, where most members who participated expressed support for cannabis reform. Colorado decriminalized the use of psychedelics. Colorado became the second U.S. state after Oregon that decriminalized the use of psychedelics. According to Proposition 122, the in initiative that was approved by the majority of voters on November 8, possession, use, cultivation and sharing of psilocybin, ibogaine, mescaline, not derived from peyote, DMT and psilocin will be legalized for adults 21 and older without an explicit possession limit. There will be no recreational sales component. Governor Jared Polis welcomed the approval of the ballot initiative and said there is a lot of promise that some of the mushroom-based therapies natural medicines show for post-traumatic stress disorder and for depression. Key points of German cannabis regulation leaked to the press. A 12-page paper was leaked to the German press at the end of October that has been submitted to the German federal government by the Ministry of Health. According to the paper, the possession of up to 20 grams of cannabis and the cultivation of up to two plants will be allowed for each adult over 18 years old for personal use. The government should regulate the legal distribution of cannabis Cannabis shops should keep a minimum distance from schools and other use facilities. The sale of synthetic cannabinoids and the advertisements of any kind of cannabis products will remain a crime. The supply of legal cannabis should be covered by German farms because of the international law. The government is expected to submit the first draft of the cannabis bill by the end of this year. Italy bans raves and free parties. One of the first measures by the new Meloni government, the right center coalition which won the 25 September Italian elections, have been a new law that aims to criminalize those who organize raves and free parties, reports Susanna Ronconi from Forum Droga. The decree law introduces a new crime in the penal code that punishes anyone who organizes on public or private terrains or buildings gatherings of more than 50 people that could be perceived to be posing a danger to public order, safety and health. For this crime, the decree provides for a prison sentence of between 3 and 6 years and a fine of up to 10,000 euros. According to Ronconi, the effects of repression could only increase the clandestine nature of the event and subsequent risk for the participants' health and safety. Racist drug war in Brazil Drug Reporter published this new short documentary on the racial injustices caused by the war on drugs in Brazil. The film was produced in cooperation with Iniciativa Negra, the organization advocating for black people who use drugs in Brazil. The majority of the population of Brazil is black, around 53%, but coming from a racist historical process of enslavement, they were never allowed the same level of political, economic and social equality as the white population. 
The war on drugs became the tool used to keep it that way. Please watch this film on Drug Reporter's website and share it with your friends. Harm Reduction Advocate elected to Danish Parliament Nana Gottfredsen, a founding member of the Danish Street Lawyers, an organization advocating for the human rights of people who use drugs living on the streets of Copenhagen, was elected to the Danish Parliament in November. Gottfredsen joined the Moderates, a liberal political party in Denmark funded by the former Prime Minister Lars Lokke Rasmussen. Now she would like to help marginalized communities from the Parliament. She said she has the support of the former Prime Minister to initiate policy change to improve the lives of homeless people. This was Drug Reporter News for today. Thank you for joining us. If you like our videos, please support our work at drugreporter.net. Thank you and goodbye. Thank you for joining us. What we've been able to achieve has been done with your help. Now we go on to the next stop, making a, a final commitment. Now we need your support again. Support Drug and Report Their News. Today, 